So today I'm here at Stockport Golf Club to test out the brand new Callaway Paradigm AI smoke irons. Now you guys will have already seen my review on the driver of these, which actually turned out to be one of the straightest drivers that we've tested out of 2024 so far. The Max driver was potentially the straightest driver I have ever hit. So obviously some big improvements there. So the Paradigm AI smoke drivers had loads of forgiveness. The main focus there for Callaway was making sure that there wasn't just one sweet spot on the face, but multiple sweet spots all over. And that's the same as what they've looked to do with the irons. So from what we saw with the driver, I'm expecting quite a lot with these irons. Now Callaway have been kind enough to send me a full set of these so we're going to go and do a four hole challenge with just irons and when I say just irons I mean just irons. I've not got a putter, not got a driver so we're really going to be able to put these to the test and see what they can do out on the golf course. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to say thank you to all of you guys for your support so far. If you haven't already, make sure that you're subscribed to the Golf A Lot YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any videos from us and join the conversation by dropping a comment down below. So when I first looked at the Paradigm AI Smoke drivers, I thought that there was a little bit too much going on. And with the irons, I think I prefer the design of them because that marbled carbon effect that you can see there is just a little bit more subtle and so it doesn't feel so overwhelming like it did with the driver. So in terms of looks in that way, I do definitely prefer the irons. In terms of how they look at the ball, I would say they do have a little bit of a chunkiness to the top and they are visibly offset, which for me isn't exactly what I'm looking for in an iron. And with these being the sort of all rounder iron for Callaway, I'd say they're probably slightly chunkier than I would like, but I don't massively dislike how these look at a dress. So we're going into the first hole. Because I'm only allowed to use irons today, it is feeling very, very long. So I'm gonna go straight in with a four iron. I'm not a massive fan of hitting long irons, so I'm a little bit nervous about this, but I'm hoping that the forgiveness is going to be there and it's gonna help me out a little bit. That was a good shot, maybe two more of those and we might be able to make it to the green. So we've made it to the fairway. We've got 193 to the flag, which I'm just not gonna be able to reach today. So I'm gonna go in with a five iron to play short to those bunkers and then pitch the ball up. So the plan worked out pretty well. I was really happy with that pitch shot. Now something that I've found from playing these types of irons before is that you can't really play those sort of delicate chip shots with them. You've got to play them more as a bit of a bump and run that I did even though that was with the wedge just because they can come off a little bit hot on the face. Now we'll test them out a few more times to see if that's the case but that's sort of what I'm getting from it at the minute. Now I have to work out how to putt with a five iron. Oh. So conclusions from the first hole, I really like the feel of these irons for the long shots and for the pitches, for the putting not quite so much but that's not the biggest problem in the world. Next up we have got a par 3, now it's playing 141 yards, so for me I would normally be looking to go between an 8 or a 9 iron here, I'm going to go in with an easy 8 iron and see how that gets on for distance. Now interestingly enough I hit that completely out of the toe but it still went dead straight and it still was pretty good for distance. So another shot slightly out of the toe. You saw that one go off a little bit more than we had on the previous hole. Not disastrously offline, but it has landed me in the bunker. So we're gonna see how these irons can get out of the sand. So looking into the tech a little bit more behind these golf clubs, we did touch on this earlier on when we were talking about the drivers because the technology and what Callaway have done with these clubs is very similar across the drivers and the irons. 
So what they've liked to do is they've taken data from thousands of golfers and combined that with AI. They're looking at real golfers, what their tendencies are to develop a series of profiles called swing codes. And from that, they've used the data there to develop the face. So they put everything into some super smart AI computer that has come out with these series of sweet spots across the face. So hopefully the supercomputer is smart enough to develop something to help me get out of this bunker. Ooh, that came out a lot better than I was expecting, which has meant that it's now gone into the trees. But I'll take it, it came out quite nicely. <laughs> Something else that Callaway is saying this AI smoke face is able to do is able to add a little bit more control to the ball so that they can make the mid to longer irons a quarter of an inch longer. The reason they're doing that is because the longer the club is, the more distance you're going to be able to see. But with a longer club, you're going to be less consistent. However, Callaway are saying that somehow the AI face can solve that problem and help you keep the consistency either with that longer club. Okay, so I think the ball just clipped the trees up there. So we've not gone too far into the trees and we still have a nice open shot to the green. So I'm just gonna go in with a pitching wedge and see if we can get this one close. <laughs> it came off very hot off the face, but it finished up really nicely. <laughs> I just can't put with me. <laughs> At least I hold that one. <laughs> so we're on to the last hole. I'm currently two over, but to be honest, I'm really impressed with these irons and really enjoying using them so far. We have, however, realized that I do not possess the skill to putt with an iron. So let's see if we can do any better on the last hole. Something else that we're seeing with these irons is that Callaway are looking to move away from their previous more rounded shape to a bit of a more refined look with these irons. They're going for a slightly longer blade length and thinner top line to try and move away from that sort of chunkier game improvement iron. However, I would say that they're not necessarily the sleekest looking iron, but I don't dislike how they look at a dress. And you can see some of the areas of refinement that Callaway have done in these irons. Something else that you can see really clearly on these irons is the pre-worn leading edge that has variable bounce to try and improve the feel when you're hitting the shots and interacting with the turf. Obviously, I've played loads of different types of shots today, and in terms of the turf interaction, it's difficult to really say an opinion there because what I was finding, especially with the shorter and the pitch shots, was that the ball just comes off so quick from the face. That feeling is almost overwhelming, and it's the only thing that you really take from the shot is that quickness and the speed. So you're kind of losing the feel of any turf interaction. So if you're somebody who's wanting to keep that feel in their irons, these maybe aren't the right ones for you, but if you're looking for something that is quick, that gives you that distance, these are a good shout. I feel like getting it onto the green was the easy bit and this is the difficult part. <laughs> yes, a solid three foot to finish. <laughs> so as well as the challenge today, I also tested these clubs indoors over at Hooked. So let's take a little look at those numbers and the data from there. So when I initially hit these over at Hooked, I was pretty shocked at how far they were seeming to go. If we take a look at the seven iron, for example, I was getting an average carry of 150 yards and an average total of 170, which first of all is a huge distance for a seven iron for me in the first place, but the difference between that carry and total is also significantly larger than I would normally want to see. 
Now we looked into this, we looked at the spin rate, which was all the way down at 3,500. So obviously super low for what you would expect with a seven iron. So if we compare the lofts of the Paradigm AI Smoke irons to my current T150s, my T150 irons are already very strong lofted, but these irons comparing the seven irons are four degrees stronger in loft. So that is gonna be one of the reasons why they're going so far and so low, but that could also be to do with the fact that Callaway have made the mid to long irons slightly longer by a quarter of an inch to try and allow golfers to get some more distance as well. Something else that was really strange that I noticed on the indoor testing was what was going on with the five iron. Now I was really struggling to hit this off the mat. I don't know whether it was because of the length, because of the weight or the shape of the club, but I was just hitting a lot of the shots quite chunky, low and left. However, when I took it out onto the golf course, I absolutely loved the five iron and was hitting some really great shots with it. So because of this, my five iron numbers were a little bit lower for the distances. And it's just something to point out because probably if you were gonna go and get fitted, there is a chance that you might be hitting your shots from a mat. And for me, this just wasn't working at all. But as soon as I took it out onto the golf course, it was absolutely fine. Within the Paradigm AI Smoke range, Callaway also has a high launch club, which we did test out as well with the seven iron. And what I found was essentially it did as it was meant to do. The peak height was nine yards higher with the high launch. The carry was roughly the same at 154 yards with the total slightly down at 160. So coming on to a bit of an overall verdict with these irons. Starting off with the looks, I would say that I definitely prefer the overall look for the AI smoke design on these irons than I do the drivers, just because it's a little bit more subtle. But for me, they are slightly thicker and chunkier than I would like to see in my irons. They're not quite the sleekest club ever, but it wouldn't be the determining factor for me to not buy them. In terms of feel, I really liked how these clubs fell out on the golf course, especially with the long shots. I definitely felt as though there was a little bit of a loss of feel with the shorter shots, trying to pitch and chip with the wedge because it was coming off that just that little bit hot from the face. But to be honest, that's what we tend to find with sets of irons when you aren't using a specialist wedge. Going on to performance, I thought they performed really well, especially out on the golf course. They were very forgiving and helped me keep the ball online where I wanted it to be. The only downside that I saw in terms of performance was that lack of consistency in terms of the distance. However, that might just come down to the individual and getting used to these irons. But for me, it was just a bit too varying in terms of how far these irons were going to be reliable. And finally, going on to value for money, these irons, a full set from the wedge to four iron, are gonna cost 899 pounds for steel shafts or 999 pounds for graphite shafts, which to be fair, I would say in today's day and age, isn't too bad in terms of a cost, but in terms of how well they've performed and how versatile these irons are, I do really think that you could see somebody playing these from around a 20 handicap all the way down to sort of five or six. They could last you a very long time because they do really appeal to a wide wide range of golfing abilities. So that has been my review of the Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke Irons. Thank you all for watching and also a massive thank you to Stockport Golf Club for allowing us to come and test these out here today. Although the sky was looking a little bit grey, the course was in fantastic condition, so it's been great to get out and get these tested. As always, if you haven't already, make sure that you're subscribed to the Golf Lot YouTube channel. And if you want to know more about these irons, you can check out my written review over on the Golf Lot website. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe for more.